For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. Isaiah says, Luke says here in 2.11, that unto us a Savior has been given. A child, a son, a Savior, Jesus Christ. I know we've just celebrated Christmas. I know you're anxious about your new year, but don't leave the old year without receiving everything you can have through Jesus Christ in this year to begin the new one afresh, a new start. New year, new start, new beginning, it's coming, right? How do we do that? Well, I want to receive the gift of forgiveness. This has been my sharing with you this week as we stay with that manger just a little bit longer. The gift of forgiveness, that I can be forgiven for all my sins, my angers, the things that, where I missed the mark, where I came short, where I got it wrong this past year, I can be forgiven. And then there's no condemnation or guilt or shame in my life once I know the full forgiveness of God then I can receive the power of the Holy Spirit to live a more confident, purpose-filled life. We also have God's love to help us get a new start, have a new start, because we have access to the grace of God. You can come boldly to the throne of grace and receive help in the time of need. I don't know about you, but I'm going to have my best year in a long time this coming year. You can have one too. How? What's the difference? Jesus Christ. Make Him your Savior. Make Him Lord of your life. Begin to open the scriptures and read about him. Begin to find some fellow Christians and believers in church and some online stuff. We're having Sunday morning, 1030 uh, right here. Uh, you can join us online there. You know, we're going to be putting out some uh, good word about how to live victoriously through Jesus Christ. There's information online how you can join us. Find a local church near you. Get a good start, a right start in 2022. And I pray you will today in Jesus' name. Amen.